Everybody, it's MLB 11XNC22 coming to you with, 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 an, with another special guest deck profile. Um, introduce yourself. It is I, Lucy Overkill. Hello, everybody. And we're going to be uh, taking a look at number 18, Jason Hayward. Number 
people should be, which I think should be legal, which I think people should be, should be legal instead of soul charge. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. The thing is, it should come back, but the thing is, I mean, think about there's Blackwing, Zephyrus, Lee, and Vulcan, the Divine. There's stuff that can still bounce it, but it's not really that bad. At least the stuff that can really abuse it is a uh, band like Breon Chile. Um, no soul charge because I pay a lot of life points in this deck to to uh, not, not be able to use a lot of utilized soul charge to expect potential. Steal all the monsters. <laughs> Snatch Steel's change of heart. The thing is, in my opinion, I think Snatch Steel should come back and Big Eyes should get banned. Uh, Snatch Steel should just not come back at all. It's really too good. Big Eye, not every deck can make, so it's kind of balanced in that sense, I guess. But let's carry on. Uh, best draw card in the game, and my favorite spell, aside from the Silver and Calgaricos. Is a pot of green. A pot of green. In case you didn't know what it does, it lets you draw two extra cards. Um, graceful charity, obviously. Uh, foolish burial, just that one ditch monster to the grave. I usually send Sinister Serpent or Disc Commander if I have, or Dark Condition Chaos on my big targets for them. Yeah. And now uh, here's Foolish Burial, and here's his big brother, Foolish Burial on Crack, with his paper <laughs> tricks. Yeah, that card I know will never, ever come back. Just imagine Light Swing with this. Just let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> or Mermaid. Or, or, mer or <laughs> Mermaid's. Um, in my opinion, the best spell card in the entire game. You just pick five cards and your opponent picks one. The one you pick goes to your hand, and the rest go to the grave. And this card is so broken because you can manipulate what you want to go to your graveyard. It's obviously you're going to drop a bunch of chaos bombs. Um, and the last percentage of. Uh, uh, I'm on a holy trinity for blocking my hand. I hold it. Wait for it to do it. I'm going to force myself. Is the camera still running? We're still recording. Okay, okay. Just slight glitch there. Alright. Um, okay, I just had traps left in the end. Rain of Destruction is the best chainable card in the game. It forces you to tie a game if you need to, and it's also a. Uh, what am I going to say? And you can also OTK with it. You'll fight advantage. Crush card, because why would you not run this? There's so many cards that you can uh, use this with in the back. And, so, yeah. and, and here's my question. Imagine all three of uh, those virus cards on a Dark World deck. How about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, six cents because it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Royal Pressure, because it stopped my opponent from going into the Utah for both summoning 80 freaking monsters in one turn. It would be nice to see and, that back, though. Uh, not really, because the point... Because the thing is, a Royal Oppression isn't balanced, because you can smash summon all your monsters, then your opponents turn to activate Oppression, they can't do anything. That's why Oppression is bad. Um, and then Imperial Order, this card can never come back, turns off all spells, and that's basically it. You run a lot of spells, I run a lot of spells in this deck, but this is just to turn off uh, like all spells for like one or two turns, to stop my opponent from doing stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the main deck, not for the extra deck, I already showed you the tier experience on Cyber Dragon, or Cyber Twin. I run Cyber, I named that Cyber Dragon, so obviously can air attack Force Force Dragon doesn't care. Um, two sandwiches and two Java Kings to summon with the Magical Scientist and make rank sixes. You'll see the rank sixes in a little bit. Two Dark Fire Dragons to make rank fours with Magical Scientist. Thousand Eyes to three strips to make rank in combination with Magical Scientist. Because I can summon, I love about Magical Scientist, I can summon these strips with its effect. Suck up one of my opponent's monsters, then overlay their monster to get destroyed, and I special summon a stock in the game. Um, Photon Strike Bouncer and the Leader of the Moral Leader overlay your sandwiches or Chaos Sorcerer to get this guy out, and overlay Ojama Kings or Chaos Sorcerer to get this guy One stop spells, one stop monster to get this Pretty good. So when I can get both of these out in one turn with Magical Scientist, my opponent's really screwed. Ah. Utopia because it's flashable and it's a light. 
Uh, Steel Storm Roach, this stops Envoys from coming out, which is why I like it. My opponent's Envoys anyway, and Slack the Magician as well catch up. So that is the uh, Chaos Section file. Sorry about that little crash there, I'm not sure what that was about. Yeah. And uh, anything else you want to add, Tom? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm sorry about the video quality, people. Uh, my internet connection's not really that good. Sorry that the video is glitching really bad, but this is pretty much the best of that I can do for right now. But there's not right. really, but there's not really much I want to add. So if you want to check on his channel, just check out Mewtwo Overkill. You can you can pretty much find a lot of good stuff on his channel. He does both Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. You probably will get to. Yeah, I do Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon stuff. It's really alternative and casual gameplay. Yeah. So with that, so with that being said, um, I'm hoping you enjoyed this video, people. This is MLB One One X NC Twenty Two, along with. And we will see you all later.